And Here we are, everyone. It says yes. Rowan Wood. Rowan Wood. And it's big place. Yes, it is big. It has, you know, like these tall bushes that... Uh, hedges. There we go. Hedges that go all around all the estate. There is a paved pathway that goes up to the, the front to show your invitation. The guards open the gate, they let you in, and there's a nice garden out to the front, and you go to the... the small size. There you go. The, the banner, it's pr it's like probably probably three stories and, you know, has, you know, like a, it's a lot like the Jane Austen houses. Okay. You know. It's not as big as the Darcy estate, but it, it looks good. Mr. Collins! <laughs> Mr. Collins! <laughs> oh, Mr. Collins! Okay. That was my second choice for a character. <laughs> <laughs> you knock on the door. <clears throat> yeah, a servant opens it. And it is the most butler of butlers. He yes. Is long mustache yes. curling right there above his chest. His <laughs> eyes really are long across the <laughs> His eyes are closed. <laughs> he has like one monocle. Yes. And he has like the pristinest white gloves. And I'm just like, oh, twinsies. Yes. <laughs> He's like. Yeah. How <laughs> snarky is he? We'll find out as we talk to him. <laughs> you know, like, you can't tell if his eyes are open, but he can clearly see you because his head is following you. So he's just like, yes. Hello and there. I help you. Yes, hello. I bow. My name is Kayampi Nenmeyer. This is Elandriel, whatever your last name is. <laughs> it's Bursk. The Landriel Bursk. I forgot everyone's last name. I can barely remember mine. Same. Great! <laughs> <laughs> Perfection. Anyway, introduce everyone there. We have received an invitation to Ariadne's tea party at 10. Oh, uh, yes! Thank you. Yeah, yes, Miss Ariadne is very ecstatic to have you. <clears throat> Please do come in. Thank you very much. Fianthi <laughs> briefly wonders if she should have gotten better dressed for a tea party. I, I lean into everybody and I'm like, so I've never been to a tea party. Do, do you just drink tea? You drink tea? Talk you crap talk? about other people. Well, depends We're on the people the you're talking to. I mean, That's why I said crap. <laughs> no! <laughs> you go and you have a, you socialize, you talk, you make friends, you enjoy exquisite treats. Do you do anything during the tea party? I've been very left boring. alone with these people. <laughs> well, how well do you know our host? Our little host, our name. How well, well do you know her? Not that well. Well, Just this is the perfect chance to know her. We're being attacked by fish people. Exactly. Now we have the actual time to get to know each other as fellow beings. As fellow world. beings. So you enter Disney Princess Kathy or something like that. You come into the the house and there's this stairwell that you know goes up. Grand stairwell, Ariadne. And you hear little pittery feet and Ariadne appears at the top and she has her hair up in little pigtails and she's got a cute little pink dress on and she's just like, oh, Tarina, hi. <laughs> and she she comes down. She runs downstairs and gives you like this big old hug. And behind mm -hmm. you, behind her are three other little kids. Oh, oh yes. Are we the only grown ups here? <laughs> <laughs> and um, you'll find out. <laughs> yes. <sighs> Ariane says Okay. And then she she'll go and hug everyone. Good. She'll she'll, she'll give you a hug. She gives you a hug and she says, This is my friend Talia and she points to a little girl. She's Janessa's niece. Oh, okay. Um, okay. And then she she does a little curtsy. Um, I think we gave Danessa red hair, right? I think so. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was red. We'll just say she has red hair now. Yes. That's not how it's spelled. Yes, we'll say that Dahlia has little strawberry blonde hair, and it's done no. in like a cute little little braid and N I E C E, right? C. Yes. <laughs> Words are hard. My original spelling was N E I S E. <laughs> Nice. Nice. Phonetically correct. I but... knew there was an I somewhere. <laughs> somewhere. At least I got that part. Yes. Next to Delia is a little boy who's probably like three. And he he has like this little bow tie on. Yes. And then he says, 
I'm Bremer. Bremer? Bremer. 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 His I'm name Bremer. And Hi, Bremer. Hi, <laughs> Bremer. And the, there's a third child who, uh, what she does is she jumps on the railing and then like slides slides down it. <laughs> yeah. And she's like, I'm Sophina. <laughs> Sophina. What's up, Sophina? And, and then she, she's like, what's your guys' names? Hi, I'm Ellie. Kayanthi. Tarina. Luna. <gasps> Wow. And then they, How they, old are these? Uh, those, the youngest is three. Mm-hmm. How old Ariadne are they is probably around seven. Okay. Or actually, I'll make her like a little younger. I'll make her six. And then uh, Delia and Selfina are also around six. Or... Okay. And then Bremer's three. Bremer's three. That kid is not staying in that bow tie for long. He's running <laughs> off somewhere else. <laughs> oh, he's so cute though. <laughs> he is cute though. For a few minutes. <laughs> yeah, Michael, Michael. I'm sure he has a nanny somewhere. <laughs> Young Ankle <Michael laughs> Bango. The Ariane. Mm -hmm. It's still okay if I invite my friends. They're kind of shy though, but I think they would like to go to a tea party. I think the more friends we bring, the more fun it is. Do you guys want to come out? Yeah, uh, they like start drifting out. Yeah, yeah I cast <laughs> dancing lights, and there's just like four little like little light fairy things like, that just kind of float around their heads. Like yes. Kind of, that is when you said you wouldn't have fun. You thought it'd be boring. <laughs> All the little kids are like, oh, wow. And then Sylphina, like actually like starts to chase one. She's like, well, I want to touch it. <laughs> I mean, you can. They... Whoop. <laughs> <gasps> <gasps> It's like when the cat finally touches the laser. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's just like, what gives, man? <laughs> <laughs> Off to the right of you guys, there's this other door that opens and out steps Heth! 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 Isn't he the one who was like beautiful enough? We used him as a scavenger hunt clue. Yeah, he used his hair. He's beautiful, guys. He's beautiful. He's, um. He comes out and he has, you know. A much more um, conservative outfit on. Uh, he has on like some white tan colored, essentially like surcoat robe thing on. And he's like, oh, welcome, welcome. I'm so glad to see that you turned out all right. And behind him, there is a half drow man. And oh, he, half, uh, drow. half drow, yep, half drow. He was, he's got some glasses on, and he's like, "This is my colleague Riurk. We've been working in my workshop." Riurk. Yeah, Re Riurk. Oh, so oh. he's like Re a Re Re So he's a half elf, but he's half drow. Hmm. How does yeah. that look? Um, Sounds cool. They look like pale, a, they sure. look like a half elf, but with like gray skin. Yeah. Little, so Riurk is a he, he's a slender guy. He's on the shorter side. Uh, he has short, um, like, trimmed hair, and, um, uh, you know, he's, he's not, he's not very striking, he's kind of like this guy that would fade into the background, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Like, Heth definitely overshadows him. <laughs> but, like, it's, when you look at Heth and you look at him, like, you can tell that, like, Heth, that doesn't even, like, Heth doesn't even think about that, like, mm -hmm. at all. He's just like, we, I wouldn't have had nearly as much uh, progress on our current machine without you, without Riorx. I'm very happy to introduce my friend. What machine is that? He's like, oh, well, as you know, uh, we have a textile company, and to process the plant fibers, we have to send them through a machine. Would you like to see it? Yeah, oh, that yes. sounds really cool. <laughs> and then Riorx and Heth are just like, <laughs> we, could we got a fangirl. <laughs> They're like, ooh, oh, they want to see our work. <laughs> do, 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 do. And so, yeah, they was hoping to talk to them, but I guess they'll leave first. Um, I don't know. They well, are you though. are you following with them? Um, uh, I don't know. I think she wants to stay with everyone. Do else. You just want to find Raheem. <laughs> I think an adult would give me a better clue if he was still here or not. That's what <laughs> but. She probably does not follow because she's just in the tea party aspect, really. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Well, we'll just go. We'll we'll follow Heth. Okay, right. Who's going with Heth and Rierk? Okay, Luna, <laughs> Luna's having her solo adventure. Right. In the Guys, lore of this come place. With. <laughs> Tea. 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 Tea party. <laughs> we'll, we'll keep it pretty brief. Heth goes and explains that like this is the part that separates the fibers from like the plant, and this is how oh, we like do neat. this. And currently, what we're working on together is trying to like. Um, they're trying to create a better power system so they can use magical energy more efficiently. Oh, that's super cool. Yeah, and so, like, that's what Rearch specializes in, creating, like, magic circuits, basically. Mm -hmm. And so, like, they're, they're both very excited about their work, mm -hmm. and, like, very much colleagues who are, like, comparing notes and excited that someone actually wants to know what they're talking- they're working on! <laughs> So they're very excited. Nerds. Yeah, like, they're, this is the big nerd fest. So they're like, yes. And Luna's just nerding with them. Like, yes. They're yes. like, technology, magic, ha ha. Okay. <laughs> Please use that face as a thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> okay, back to Ariadne. Yay, okay. So she's just like, do you guys want to have our tea party right now? We, um, we can also play games and we also have snacks. I like games, I like snacks. You're the host, lead the way. <gasps> okay. okay, well, we're gonna go outside because we have one. Well, mommy said that tea parties are nicer outside on a nice day, so. That is very true. Mm -hmm. Very true. So we're gonna, right. we're gonna go outside. Did you come back? No. You're scared. <laughs> oh. So she, she skips outside and you go to their they have like this lawn on the. They have a big lot. Giant, giant lawn. Yeah. Rich people be crazy. Ew. Yeah. <clears throat> What's there? Topiary, whatever it's called. Topiary? Topiary. Topiary. Yes. I've never actually heard that word out loud. I've only read it, so that's why. Hello. <laughs> Topiary. Topiary. Oh! oh! <laughs> You know, it, it's a very nice day. There's a little garden path that has a nice little white table in the middle and. Mm -hmm. Cute. <clears throat> They, um, go and, um, play on the, the area. Ariana is very excited. She's just like, and, and this is our flower garden, and this is my favorite flower, and this is my favorite rock, and... <laughs> Show oh your pet rock. Mother. I'm talking, man. Oh, no. I don't think you know, they need to make any more of, to put in mouth, whatever it is. <laughs> like, it's me, but still. Yes, and then um, the other kids, like, basically have, I don't know, like, like the little boy just has a ball. Like, they're, they're just very pure children. <laughs> Good. Aww. You know, they're, they're normal and, um, it sure be a shame if any demons attack, but hey. <laughs> <laughs> so, you guys, um, Iriadne says, I think we should start with tea, because... Is a tea party. Yeah, we can have tea. <laughs> and so she goes over and, and she, the chair's like a little too big for her, so she has to like climb onto it. Oh, okay. And then like she's like, you like, she like barely clears the table with her pen. <laughs> she's just like, and then she says, Humphrey, it's time for tea. I should give her a cushion to sit on. <clears throat> and, um, Ariana, can you ask for four extra cups for my friends? You know, I'm just like kind of pointing in aimless yes. directions for all Free. the light balls that are just <laughs> flying around. Humphrey! And then the, the but most butler of butler comes up and like, mm, yes, Miss Ariadne. <laughs> she said, we need four more cups. And can you bring snacks? Um, also, we need tea. And he's like, yes, of course. And then a few moments later, he comes back with, with like this little tea, um, uh, pot, and it's decorated with flowers, and it's very cute. And so he begins pouring tea, and then sets out four extra cups, and pours the tea. And he says, "This is a rose blend. We hope you do enjoy it. It comes from our own rose garden." Ooh. And he sets out sugar and milk, and Excellent. and then a plate of cookies. Oh, she's um, into it. <laughs> <laughs> is this a Nicole? <laughs> It started out as Nicole. <laughs> okay. But Trina's very excited now. Now Trina's just into it. Yeah. <laughs> she's is excited too. She's like, 
putting on her best tea time posture, looking at everyone else, trying to oh. nudge him into being more, you know, chest up. Yeah. You almost made me spill my tea. <laughs> oh, please, please. We do not slurp. How else are you supposed to drink your tea? <laughs> we drink it more slowly. Very First of all. Very subtly, my Like friend. water, but pretend it's not burning you. That's hot water. <laughs> but then you don't get that much tea. <laughs> <laughs> well, do you, you see how the others are not slurping? Yeah, they're, not, not, they're not getting as much tea. And... I, oh, I did tea with the queen at the Ren Fair, and I'm just picturing that and all the little foods that they had there. And it... uh. <laughs> like, like it, they had, like, everyone got, like, their own tiny little teapot for their own cup. And then uh. there was, like, little tarts that everyone had and, like, little tiny, like, sandwich, like, triangles. Yes, with the snacks are tiny. The cutest thing! I'm copying Sorry. Keontae and putting my pinky on. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. See? Is it good? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's very lovely tea. And, um. <laughs> you know, like, I'm just talking to my spirits, seeing how they like it. Of course, they're not drinking it because they're spirits, they can't drink tea. <laughs> they dunk themselves into the, drink, into the tea? So I'm taking. Oh, one, I mean, one of them pretty would take They're just like phasing through it and not touching it at all. <laughs> yeah. They're spirits, they can't interact. Just they're metaphysical beings, so they're just like whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> One of them starts hiding in the teapot. Aww. Oh. Yes. The little, the, just trying to shoot it out. The, oh, the same no. one that went up into the rafters at Jupa's house goes into the teapot. <laughs> oh, it's, it's, it's a cat. Mm. That one's a cat. <laughs> How do you get it out? Which one was that again? Oh, oh, it's a pointer. Zippo? Zippo, please remove yourself from the teapot. He kind of like buzzes up a little bit. <laughs> Technically, he did what you asked. <laughs> oh, it's okay. Zippo's just having fun. <laughs> well, I would have more fun if Zippo was not in the teapot. It's okay. You can't taste them at all. Um, what? <laughs> <laughs> Do you have experience in. Eating your spirit friends. You can't eat spirits. That's silly. <laughs> no. Books I've read, but hey, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> what do I know? I Not to nothing. Then, no. um, as soon as the snacks are over, Bremer, the little boy, like, he's just like, oh, he throws his ball and he like runs over and then just like grabs cookies and then just like, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, and then his sister Dahlia is just like, Bremer, no, you have to drink your tea first. <laughs> in order? It's <laughs> in order. And he's just like... <clears throat> so then he like puts his cookie in his tea and then eats it. <laughs> yes! <laughs> then... <clears throat> after having... You have a lovely, lovely little moment with Ariadne. And Sylphina comes up, and she sits across from Tarina, and Tarina, she, she gives you this smile. Do you recognize this smile? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> you recognize this as the same smile you saw in your ring. <laughs> ah! Oh! And she sips her tea, and then... Everything just starts to like fade to pink. Can we just see like what Tarina we... just spit out her tea or something? Or... So what happens is that everyone basically just like and is just I feel like really sleepy. And she just falls over to sleep. Whoa. And that happens to everyone else. I'm, Ooh, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> it's not there. Do we do like some sort of saving throw? Because every time we play this game, I'm looking forward to rolling a dice. <coughs> yes, um, you can do a wisdom save. Yay, everyone check your wisdom. I'm not going to win, but I did. Okay. Uh, okay, yeah. 16. Serene, help me. 10. 13? Yes. 16. I got no Oh, There you go. Okay, well, that's I, really yep. not bad. Time. Okay. No, that's really bad. <laughs> that's a bad roll, but at least you saved yourself from being very smart about it. 13? Or wise. Okay, 
Okay, so <clears throat> everyone at the table, except Ellie, falls asleep. Really? Wait, what? It will be explained way later. But and yes, that is what I, there's a reason. Okay. There is a reason. Uh, I won't tell you what it is okay. quite yet. Oh, okay. But Ellie, you it. see everyone else fall asleep. I guess everyone had too much tea. <laughs> Hold on. Kianthi? <laughs> Tarina? Ariadne? They, um, they don't respond, but they're breathing. Is... Is Sophina down as well? Um, you don't know because you fell asleep before. We're just curious. But, um... Curious little bees. No, as you oh, fall asleep, curious. you just see her smiling. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, I'm just sh- tr- trying to shake them awake. Hello, Does guys! And I'm like shaking my staff in the air, casting druid craft and like, <laughs> making a terrible smell, hoping that will wake them up. <laughs> good, good. Uh, so around you, the grass just erupts. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, because of all the druid craft being thrown around, just all sprouting out of the ground and there's like a vining plant over above you, so like it's just. Yeah. Oh, no, what are you doing in the garden? And then the stink cloud shows up, and um, it smells terrible. It does, yeah. but it doesn't wake anyone up. Ah, oh, it's not working. <laughs> I mean, I guess. What was there to do besides wait for t- me to make something happen? I guess. I'm sorry, I'm gonna switch my music again. Does okay, Ellie to... see Sabina? Um. Yes, we'll say that uh, Selfina also fell asleep. Oh, okay. Okay, so just to make her feel a little better, apparently. <laughs> that means it's all in your head. You're going crazy. Does that okay, make you feel better? <laughs> You wait. You f- you as you drink this tea, you grow drowsy and then rest your head on the table and oh. you wake up in um this. It looks like um you know the beachside. And at this, um... This is another dream sequence where I meet Raheem again. No. Okay. <laughs> You're not meeting Raheem again. Not that I'm no, disappointed, no, no, no. Tiffany. <laughs> <laughs> Let the DM do her stuff. Oh. <laughs> One good dream. All right. One dream. And you see this. <clears throat> uh, it's just this long stretch of beach. Nighttime, daytime. It's a, like, sunset. It's very sunset. calm. It's very peaceful. Uh, off in the distance, you see this this horse galloping along the beach. And, um... Step out of the way of the horse. <laughs> the, uh, horse um, approaches you. And it's this beautiful horse. A uh, you know, beautiful mane. You've never seen a more handsome horse. And it stops in front of you, and then, um, it actually, like, looks at you, and then, um, in your mind, you hear it speak, and it says, if you climb on my back, I can take you to the, uh, the ocean kingdom. What color is the horse? It's, um... It's You're not that <laughs> <laughs> It's gray. my dream sequence. What color is the horse? It's gray. Oh, oh okay. Gray. White horse is a symbol of death, so... <laughs> I see why you were concerned. <laughs> However, I can't think would it know either way. That's a cool, nice gray horse. It could be white. <laughs> anyway, the ocean kingdom. Uh, <laughs> what and where is the ocean kingdom? I love this. Why in the oceans? <laughs> of course. You can go in the water? Deer horse? <laughs> Why, yes, I can. Oh. It's a water horse. Do, it's a do I kid. remember being at the tea party or just here at the beach? Yes, you remember at, being at the it's tea party. Now you're, a Kelpie. now you're at a beach. Uh, now I'm just very confused then. I was like, so are you a demon? Oh, it's a Kelpie. Are you a demon? Are you a Kelpie? No. 
It's the worst. Oh, well, water. would demons lie to me about being a demon? Probably. 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 Great. <laughs> Hippo. What the? You can do an inside check. Yeah, inside check, <laughs> okay. please. You know me, I love to roll dice. <laughs> roll the dice. Uh, What's my inside again? Oh, okay. I'm gonna go nuts. <laughs> oh, gosh. I'm not even. I was not insightful at all. I grew up 10 you, total. What? 10 Thank total. You. This horse Dying. seems to be truthful. Great. <laughs> What'd you roll? Fa- a seven. Yay. You think My this horse is telling you the truth? Okay, Kathy's gonna go for it. So it's gonna t- t- take you into the lake and drown you? Let's find out. Okay, Heck, so then Kayanthi yes. does her best to climb on a horse. I don't know if she's very... Yes. Does she, uh, we'll she, see who can. is pretty high dexterity. She'd be good at it. Yeah, she yeah. High dexterity. And she might be used to it by now. Yeah, in and the, uh, the horse turns and goes towards the water. And um, let's have you make a wisdom save. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Okay, tell me the rules behind that. Like, what do I got to do? You just add plus one. That's it. Okay. For wisdom save. Hey, 15, not... 16. Okay, so this that's horse... Not... That's good. That's okay. Good. <laughs> uh, let's see. Do, does everyone here know that okay. have advantage against being charmed? Or being put to sleep by magic? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah! Oh, yeah. Yeah! Hold up! Yeah! <laughs> Wait! <laughs> okay, you can roll again! I also decide how high this DC <laughs> is. Well, no, I just think we should just continue with my dream, guys. I'm ruining it. Okay, so I rolled a 16. No, I Okay, so you... Think about this. Okay. Well, I mean, this is weird. Drug, that it's weird that a horse would want to take you into water. Sleep, okay. And so, like, as you're nearing towards this... He's he's just walking you into the water, and you're going further and further into the water, and just like, you know what? I can't breathe underwater. I'm gonna get off this horse. <laughs> <laughs> so, um... Good luck decisions. You, uh, you... You, uh, you start to climb off the horse. Okay. <laughs> and... I'm probably just kind of let go and I float up or something. Float up. And he stops and he's just like, don't you want to go to the Water Kingdom? I still don't know where or what that is. Why would you want to take me there? The Ocean Kingdom? <laughs> he's like, he's just like, oh, well, because it's a beautiful place. And it's lovely. Well, I've been to many lovely, beautiful places and all the places where I could breathe normally. So I don't know if I should. And my friends might... Be missing me. And then um, the horse, he uh, he walks around you. Am I in the water? Yes, you're in the water. How deep is the water around me? We'll say that like um, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. it's like we'll say it's like walk. like you're not okay. under. Yeah, you like you can still stand. And okay. so, he, but like he can walk better in this water than you. Okay. So he walks around you, and it's just like you know, unfortunately. I really need to take someone to the Ocean Kingdom. Um, and we'll have you roll for initiative. Oh! Yeah! Yeah! Fight this horse! I'm gonna punch yeah. a horse! I'm gonna punch this horse! <laughs> okay, Ooh. initiative is 17. Okay, yes, yeah, so you- Yeah, Tiffany doesn't love to roll dice! Yes! Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's fight a horse in the water. This is a disadvantage though, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Great. So he. Well, you're still kind of wading through it. Yeah. Yeah. So he goes first. You go first. Yay! Okay. I can't do anything. That makes me a ball of anxiety, but I love this so much. It's It's like watching TV. (laughs) It's like living TV. I'm just going nuts and spreading farts around. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, can I just say in my mind, Bremer is just a very young Ango McBango. Ango McDango, sorry. Ango McDango? Who? I don't even know who that is. Angus McDonald. Oh. Aww. Little boy with a bow tie! My brain went to, ah yes, tiny Angus McDonald. (laughs) Hello, sirs. Hello. Alright, so what are you you gonna do? He, we'll say, like, for flavor that, um, the green, the, uh, the gray mane, um, there's this starts to like melt off of him in this ocean the spray of ocean you know mm-hmm. and then underneath you see this green skin and the uh, like a seaweed that replaces the mane okay okay and it's just like Kathy is gonna mm-hmm. try to get out of the water where she does not do as well as this horse would okay so, so she retreats back to the shore okay that it, it will say that the water is um 
uneven terrain, so okay. that's half your movement. My movement is 40, so that'd be 20 feet. Okay, so we'll say that uh, you can well, you can use basically, like, you get, like, five feet onto the beach. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I'm out of the water, technically. Yes, you are out of the water. Yay. Okay, that was my move there. And you still have a bonus action and an action. Just okay. well, you just, well, um, oh, but did you, you did you dash okay. to get out of the, we'll the water? Um, I think I just went normally because my speed okay. is forty with my yeah. Un- but he movement. does get an opportunity of attack on you because he's the okay. Okay, so I just I just know Kelsey's just trying to stay alive and figure out how to get back while sizing up right. this weird horse creature. <clears throat> okay. So he is going so, to. Ooh, okay. Stressed. For me? Yes. Oh, I'm. I don't know what to do. I'm how just much, here. How much health do you have? I have a. Don't kill me. Yeah, um, I, know, I, I don't. My win. maximum health is sixteen. Okay. Um, we'll say that he does three damage to you. Okay, three damage. Yeah. So he like kind of like rears his paws, uh, not paws, hooves, <laughs> and just like kind of clocks you. Oh. Ugh. And then. It's like, <laughs> Stop yeah. that! Come back here. All right, so you, he chases you to the the ocean, and we'll say that his eyes start to glow red, and he's just like, "If I can't convince you, then I will have to take you." And we're gonna. He's going to. His seaweed mane will like grow down, and then. S- like s- go to, like slither on the ground and then attempt to grapple you. Okay. So you have to make a DC of twelve, and so you can make an an acrobatics or a athletics. athletics well, I but think I'm doing safe. acrobatics. My DC <laughs> is twelve. Mm-hmm. Okay. I think that'd be a save, wouldn't it? Well, no, it's... he's attempting to grapple you, but it's not a. Save. It's a grapple. Okay. Yeah, it's a grapple. I know what that means. Okay. Anyway, I'm rolling this dice now. It rolled away. Um, fourteen plus seven is a oh, number. Yeah. Yes. No, that's, that's no yeah. So 21. like using falling seven dexterity. Yeah. <laughs> so you fall back on your monk teachings and remember all the footwork that Rahim had you Definitely. do, Definitely. and so you just backpedal out of the way. I twirl out of the way. I backflip. I like you know, the, the woof, you know. Okay. Okay. Yeah. The cinematic, so, like, Tiffany. You you, <laughs> you do two back pedals and then you do like a side flip. Yeah. In a roll. Yes. <laughs> ah, that's what I'm being a monk's about. Do some monk stuff. Yes. Monk stuff. Monk stuff. Monk okay. stuff. Monk stuff. You're the monkey, you. No. Oh, it makes me happy. I'm really excited to play monk. Okay. Come on. Um. Let's. We're we're gonna put you on pause. Boop, and we're gonna go to Luna. Uh oh. <laughs> Luna. Ah! Yeah. What are you doing? You're learning about plants. I was learning about. I was learning about the the clothing. Oh yeah, that's right. Bigger You're still in stuff. here. Yeah, and like, they're just going to more detail about like how they break down the the plant fibers and how it's like these the, there are these combs to separate things and then there's like a refining process and mm-hmm. they've been discussing like different ways on how to like. You implicate this for various other fibers and like actually trying to figure out how to like make synthetic fiber because they don't have plastic. Oh, okay. So they're just like discussing chemistry mm-hmm. at this point. And does Luna know about chemistry? Um, I'd say like I mean, she has a 12 intelligence, so she's like smarter than average. But um, I'd say like she probably knows like the basics, like at least like whatever their level of like high, the high school equivalent would have taught. Okay, so it's okay. like, so like you can follow like the gist of what they're talking about, not like yeah. the finer points. Um, okay, we won't spend too much time there unless yeah. you want to. Unless do you something. think they're gonna be done, and then we go back to the party. Mm-hmm. Or yeah, yeah. Okay, Ellie, what are you doing? Okay, <laughs> I'm just over here having fun, guys. <laughs> I'm like kind of freaking out because they fell asleep. I'm looking around to see if anybody's gonna be coming towards us because I'm assuming that we were drugged so I'm assuming maybe someone's gonna try to kidnap us or something so can I just do a perception sure okay yes perception just around hey <laughs> that 
that was that was quite a journey you went on, Mr. Dice. That was a nat twenty. <laughs> Woo! Okay. <laughs> With a nat twenty. I'm looking around. I'm like, I have my staff at hand, and I like jangle out some of the pebbles inside of the staff, and just bonus action cast magic stones, and I'm just ready. <laughs> ready. Um. So you see, off in the distance, there's a gardener. <laughs> the gardener is coming for you. The gardener <laughs> looks off your hair. For you. And then he goes back to gardening. We, like, do you not see everything? Do you, <laughs> um, Ms. Mr. Gardener, do you, do you not uh, uh, Everybody's asleep? <laughs> and, and then, um, he's like, well, it is around nap time! Uh, <laughs> are there any other adults around, like the butler or anything? Um, the butler went back Humphrey inside. Went inside. Yeah, Humphrey went back inside. Parents? You know, talking you know, to just you. Kinda, like frantically screaming, like just, this yeah. is not normal sleep. Okay. Um. So we'll say with your shout, Humphrey comes out, and then he's just like, "Yes, madam. What? What appears to be? Oh, well, everyone's asleep. <laughs> <laughs> this is very peculiar." I, I, did I taste anything funny in the tea at all? Did it just taste like normal tea to me? It tasted like rose tea to you. Okay. Yeah. I, they all just suddenly fell asleep. I don't know if it was something in the tea or Not very something strange. In the and so he goes and he, he goes to Ariadna and he checks her and she's like, well, she appears to just be asleep. Not very strange. And you say this just, Happened? Hmm. I shall have to. He checks out the teapot. He's just like, I'm sure you brewed this just fine. And, and this has happened to everyone but you. Well, yeah. I don't. I don't know what happened. 